Hey there everybody, uh, just finished setting up Calypso's temporary enclosure. <clears throat> I want to start off by saying that this is in no way a guide on how you should set up your enclosure for red tail boa. Considering this is my first red tail boa, I'm more looking for some advice and tips and pointers on things I should change. While keeping in mind that this is a temporary enclosure, I'll be building a viv for her pretty soon. <clears throat> With that said, let's kind of get started on what I did here. Uh, I started off by siliconing some aluminum like angle uh, sheet metal to the bottom and top to make a sliding door for the enclosure. Uh, I'm using plexiglass as the uh, glass there. I think it, I don't remember the brand of plexiglass or how thick it was, but it's Thick enough to where it's not going to flex at all if she were to push up against it. Even when she gets a little bigger, if she pushed up against it, it won't flex at all. So she can't get out. So that's the door of the enclosure. <clears throat> On the inside I have uh, aspen bedding. A pretty thick layer of it. Uh, I don't have to worry about how thick the bedding is too much because I don't have an under tank heater. But I did put enough so that way if she moves around it's not going to push and then glass shows underneath just for more visual purposes than anything else. For lighting I'm using a 65 watt daylight bulb as well as a I think it's either a 65 or a 40 watt uh, 24 hour bulb. Um, so I'll leave the 24 hour one on all the time and just use the daytime one obviously during the day. So that way she can still have her light cycle. Uh, back in the corner there I have a log hide. She usually likes to hide back in this corner. She's not there now. She's actually in a temporary holding tank. I have another hide in the opposite corner for the hot side. Uh, as well as a water bowl. A branch fixture in the center as well as another bush. Uh, just to kind of give some cover when she's up basking and stuff. As far as plants go, up around the top of the tank I have some plants siliconed in just to kind of fill up the tank a little bit, plus she can climb on the vines that make up the plants she'd like. I have two other big plants, or bigger plants, fuller plants, back in the corners. Those are just suction cupped on. And just so you know, with the silicone I did wait 48 hours for it to cure. I know the bottle said 24 and it's fine, but I didn't want to risk it. Uh, up on the top here, I have a screen that the lights are sitting on, just because I didn't want them sitting directly on the glass, because it would get too hot, and since the branch is pretty close to the top, I didn't want her to burn herself. Uh, this way it puts a good distance between the glass and the lights themselves. She can't burn herself, and it keeps the tank at a pretty good temperature. As far as temperature goes, I'm keeping the hot side around 90 to 92. Uh, don't want it to get any hotter than that from what I've seen. Uh, the cool side is around <clears throat> uh, high 70s, low 80s. So yeah, I'm pretty proud with how this turned out, especially since it's a temporary cage. I'm going to take a look at the temperature right now. I have a thermostat and hygrometer and one. The humidity is at 88 right now just because I just missed her cage. I'll wait for that to settle down a little bit before I go ahead and put her in. Uh, temperature is still rising. It'll go up pretty slowly, but it does stabilize at around 91, 92-ish. So yeah, like I said, this is a temporary cage for her. I'm building a viv for her that's going to be probably around 4 by 3 by 3 feet. <clears throat> so that way it'll last her for a while. I'm using those dimensions more just because that's what I have laying around in terms of materials. So I'm looking forward to getting that finished. It'll look pretty cool, I think. 
<clears throat> so I'm going to let the humidity kind of air out a little bit and everything settle down, the temperature rise a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the video and come back to you when I go ahead and put her in. So yeah, see you in a minute. All right, I'm back guys, about to put Calypso in her newly furnished cage. She'll probably want to go explore all the new plants that I put in there, since she's pretty curious about everything, always wanting to explore. Yeah, like I said, the log hides were already in here, as well as this branch and the plant in the center. She might take a minute to start to get active again, get used to the new changes. So I'm going to go ahead and close the cage up here. And we'll see if she moves at all. If not, I'll open up the cage on the other side and just take a look at her while I talk to you guys about a few things. First off is with the new Viv that I'm making her. I plan on recording the process of me making it. I'll put it up as a video if you guys want to see it. Uh, if you want to see it, just leave a comment. I'd be happy to put it up if enough people want to see it. Also, uh, if you could leave any tips or pointers on things I should change about her temporary cage or things I should include in her new Viv, that'd be great, considering this is my first red tail. Really appreciate it. See you next time.